Praise God. Praise God. So what we have here is a situation in Exodus 20:25. 20, God says, if you lift up your tool upon it, you have polluted it. If you mess with these stones to create my altar, you are going to filthify. You are going to uh, worldify. You are going to fleshify. You are going to put your, your evil. You are going to put your, your sin and all these things into what I am telling you to create because you're putting your tools upon it. No, the Lord wanted unhewn stones, untouched, untouched and unmolded by human hands. He just wanted it put together the way that he told them to. The proud heart of man is anxious to have a hand in what God is doing. You see, the pride of man wants to be anxious to have a hand in what God is doing and then say that they have a hand in what God is doing. Hey, I'm the one that started this ministry. Hey, I'm the one that began this work. Hey, the Lord spoke to me about this. You know, remember? Remember, Miriam? Remember uh, coming against Moses and saying, Hey, God speaks to us too, doesn't he? How come he only, you think he only speaks to you? And they got punished. She got leprosy. God gave her leprosy because she wanted to have a hand in it. Some people, they want to have a hand in it. You see your pastors and your ministers and, and your pastor's wives and, and other, uh, you know, the women's group and this and that. And you think to yourself, I can do that. I want a hand in that. I don't just want to help. I want to have a part in it where I get some credit too. And we've got to be very careful not to step forward to put our tools into God's work. If God wants our tools, he'll let us know. He'll say, okay, and, and he'll give us the tools. But remember, the tools of God for God's kingdom, amen, they don't come from tools that we take out of our tool shed. They come from tools that God lets us use from his tool shed, praise God. He wants us to use the tools of the Holy Ghost. He wants us to use the tools of his spirit. He wants us to use those things, the fruit of the spirit, to mold and to make well the things that he has put forth to make his will not only known but accomplished. God wants us to do these things with his toolbox, not ours. Amen. So when they were building, when they were building, many professors take warning, take warning from this text. If you lift up your tool upon it, you've polluted it. Exodus 20:25. 20, Many professors take warning. If you profess, you better make sure. If you say, hey, I'm, I'm part of this. I put, I put my tools into this. You better make sure that you don't say my tools, but God's tools. You better make sure that you say, God put me in this. I didn't. Amen. And you better be sure of it. Because if you're starting a work with your own tools in your own hands, and you're professing that it's God's work, then it will not stand. Remember, the only thing that's going to stand is what is of God. All the hay, all the stubble, all the dross, all the stuff, all the, the, the stuff that you do unto man, all the stuff that you do for pride, all the stuff that you create um, uh, or, or you know, put together and, and think that you have something. If it's not of God, then it won't last. And even the things that are of God, when you put your own tools and your own hands to it, anything that's not of God in that work will perish. And the only thing that will remain is what God intended to grow and flourish in the first place. Amen. We have to come to a place in our lives where we get on our knees and we ask God and we, we proclaim to God, I have nothing to offer. Just like salvation, we have nothing to offer except our own selves, which is created by God. So we, if we don't even own ourselves, then what can we offer God to be saved? Nothing. Nothing. It's his work. It is his work to save us. Praise God. There's nothing we can do to save ourselves. Only thing we can allow is for God to do his work in us. Amen. And so here we are being saved. It's no different than here we are beginning a work for God. There's nothing we can do to start this work with our own stuff, with our own toolbox, without it being the will of God and without it being his toolbox and his stuff that, that is used. Everything else will fall away. So it's really our responsibility 
when we come before the Lord and, and ask to be blessed with a work, ask to be blessed with a ministry, that maybe we don't know if he's called us for it or not, to pray and, and, and let him know our desire, what we want to do, how we would like to do it. And the answer might be, no, this is what I want you to do, and this is how I want you to do it. But be prepared for that. Not everybody was created to be evangelists. Not everybody was created to be ministers. Not everybody was created to open their house, you know, for, to, to, to have uh, cell groups or, or, or Bible studies. Not everybody was given the gift of hospitality. Or not everybody was, you know, made to even um, do uh, that kind of a ministry in the church, let alone, you know, in the world. It, it all depends on what God wants for us. What does God want for us? And he'll give us the tools. He'll give us the instructions. There's nothing that God didn't give Noah. He gave, he gave it to them all. He gave them all the instructions. Exactly what to do. Exactly how to build the ark. And here we have again. Here we have again the altar. I'm going to let you know what needs to or doesn't need to be done. But as soon as you put your tools on it, as, as soon as you put your two cents, as soon as you put your opinion into it, it will be polluted. Don't pollute God's ministry. Don't pollute God's word. Don't pollute God's will, uh, the testimony of his will to people, you know, by, by saying that this is of you and I put my hand, I put my hammer, I put my nails into this work. No. At the end of the day, all that will fade away. The only thing that will remain is what God told us to do in his will with his instructions and with his tools. And those tools are not carnal. They're not temporal. They're eternal and they're spiritual. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.